black UTC 70 denier thread and tie in, dress the hook a little bit. So the first thing, tie in the foam body and this is just some round foam. It's pre-made, pre-colored and uh, just going to tie that in right there and I'll leave a little bit of room at the front for the eyes. Tie this on. Yeah, like so. And you can either use some burned mono. I actually have some little damsel eyes. And even the adults do have the kind of the buggy eye thing going on. Tie those in there. Figure eight them. There we go. Now this is going to be actually a parachute pattern, so I'm going to grab some poly yarn here and what I'll do is just bring this up underneath the hook and I'm going to tie this in relatively close to the eyes. Just give it a few wraps around and we're just going to make a post. Right now I'm going to tie in the wings, and so for the wings I'm going to use some of this medallion sheeting, and I want it a bit about the length of the body, and I'm going to give this a twist so that it divides it right in half, and I'm going to tie this in right behind my post, and actually snug it up against the post. And if anything, you want these wings maybe to peel back a little ways towards the, uh, the extended body area, because as the damsel sits, actually the, the wings will be flat against its body, but this is going to imitate a, a damsel on the water that's obviously either fallen or uh, laying eggs, so uh, they're not going to be sitting that way if they're on the water. So trout's probably used to seeing the wings splayed a little bit. Okay, the next thing I want to do is tie in my hackle, and I just want that also to be tied in right there at the post. And cinch that down, and then what I'll do is pull that up parallel to the post, and then wrap a few times around to secure it as I go up the post. And then I'm going to park it back here behind the wings and I'll put my dubbing in. So for dubbing, I'm just going to use some blue, this is a blue sparkle mix I make, it's just some blue dubbing and I added a little bit of Antron and Crystal Flash stuff in there and uh, this is just a really lightly dubbed thorax area and you just kinda gotta work it in and amongst all of the stuff you have tied in here primarily the wings the hackle post and then right before the eyes And I'll actually figure eight the eyes a little bit too. So they're not lonely. Now similar to how I tie most of my um, parachute patterns, I'm actually going to whip finish this and we'll take care of the post, the hackle a little differently. Alright, so we've got the hackle tied in there, dubbed the body, and now I just need to wrap the hackle around my post. And I'm just going to take a few wraps there. Okay, now the way I'm going to 
secure this hackle in here is I'm going to get a little bit of super glue and I'm going to go in here to my fibers where I just had my last turn of hackle and just use my bodkin here to work some of that super glue into the hackle fibers and doesn't take much a couple seconds here and it will dry go ahead and clip off the rest of the hackle okay now we've got the fly hackled and I need to now trim my post a little bit like that and then as a final little effect I'm going to singe the wings a bit so that they look a little beat up so I'm going to do this with my bodkin and a lighter get a little hot and I'm just going to go around these wings like that shrinks them up a bit gives a little reinforcement because it singes them makes them a little stronger on the edges and again you're kind of imitating a wings that are beat up so it doesn't matter if they're perfect like that okay and there is our completed adult damsel